hey what's up you guys so this is a very fun video I got this idea from Trisha she did a my favorite junk food video I just wanted to target and I let my artery clogged heart decide on what it wanted to get for this video so this is what I came up with this is not stuff that I normally buy because it is so bad for you but uh, I'm glad I'm doing this video because it gave me an excuse to buy all this stuff so I'm not gonna be eating everything here. Obviously, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys my favorite junk food, and I would love to hear what your favorite junk food is. When you're going into like a gas station or a 7-Eleven or Target and getting snacks, I wanna know what the number one thing is that you're gonna be going to, because I don't know, I think junk food is so fun, and I would love to hear what your guys' favorites are. So let's get started. I do have some ice cream as well that I'm gonna be showing you guys at the end, but I didn't want it to become a big melty mess, so we're gonna do those at the end. So let me show you guys what I'm drinking today. Got this. To drink today this is a this is actually a drink I've never ordered before this is a Starbucks double shot on ice this one has five shots of espresso it has a little bit of vanilla syrup and then it also had some caramel somewhere in there I think at the bottom ah, it's dripping everywhere normally when I go to Starbucks I will just get a regular like black coffee or black iced coffee and I'll just add a little bit of milk to it and that's how I like it but this is definitely kind of a treat drink that I will get maybe once every couple months Mm. I want to know what do you guys order at Starbucks? What is your like treat junky drink? So, this is my main course for today is hot Cheetos and cheese because this is by far my favorite snack that I never have because it is horribly horrible for you but it's so good. I have some of this warmed up. Oh my god, I love these so much. These are probably my favorite hot Cheeto variety. Some of you guys have also asked me to do the hot Cheeto challenge, and I don't really know what the challenge is. Is it just eating hot Cheetos? Can someone please let me know? I tried looking some up, and like, I didn't really get it. So leave me a comment down below. Add my cheese to it. This cheese is really thick, so this might look kind of gloppy and gross. I actually normally do the cheese with just regular hot Cheetos. I've never done it with puffy ones. It's so good with the puffy ones. Oh my god. Have you guys ever tried this before? Because this is, this is the combo of champions, alright? I feel like I can eat so many of them. Mmm. I haven't had this in so long. I forgot how good it is. Please try this if you haven't tried it already. Mm. Weird combo, but I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I saw an article pop up on my Facebook the other day. It was like, new study found about the dangers of hot Cheetos or something like that. So I saw that and was like, oh my god, what did they find? Literally the whole article was just about how researchers have found that hot Cheetos like raise your blood pressure because they're so high in sodium. I know my heart is stopping with every bite I take. You really didn't need to hire some new researchers to figure that out. <laughs> mm. They're so light, like you can really eat the whole bag and not even realize it. They have some that come in a black bag that are like triple x hot or something <laughs> i don't know i've never tried those are those actually spicy <gasps> i forgot to tell you guys about something that happened to me at starbucks oh my god i got played so hard by this guy i felt like such an idiot let me get in the storytelling zone i was not planning on doing a story time but this will be a little one so <clears throat> So I went into Starbucks, there's one girl ordering, and then there's a guy behind her that it was a guy with like a dog, and that's it. So I get behind the guy with the dog in line, and he's like, oh, you can go ahead of me, like, don't worry. And I told him, I was like, no, 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 it's okay, like, I'm not in a rush or anything, like, there's no reason for me to be cutting this guy in line. And he was like, no, 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 I insist, like, go in front of me. Ah, I just ate my hair. So I was just like, okay, this guy's just being really nice, whatever. So I go in front of this guy. It was my turn next to order, and I'm just ordering like a regular iced coffee. And then the guy behind me, the guy that let me cut him in line, he's like, oh, can you add a, a shot of espresso on the side to that order? 
I look at him kind of like smiling and kind of like, what? Because I thought he was joking. He's like, yeah, like patting his pockets on his jeans. He's like, yeah, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't have any money. I forgot my wallet. So then I tell the cashier, I'm like, okay, um, add a shot of espresso for him on the side. And I look at him again and like, kind of like, is that it? And then to the cashier, he's like, actually make it two shots of espresso. So I was just like, I was just like shocked. Like I had no idea what to say. I just end up paying for this freaking guy's drink. I don't know if he does that a lot because the cashier started laughing. So I'm like, maybe this guy comes in the store all the time and does that to people. Like, I felt like I got straight scammed. <laughs> I mean, I could have told them, no, I'm not buying that for you. But like, I don't know, I'm a pushover and I felt really awkward and I've never had that happen before where someone has just like added stuff onto my order <laughs> without asking me. Like. It was taking like five minutes for our drinks to come out and this guy kept like kind of following me around the store and I would feel really awkward and like walk somewhere else in the store and then he would follow me over there. I saw them finally put my drink down and I was like, okay, have a nice day, bye. And then I grabbed my drink and like bolted out, but I was like, okay, this guy seems a little bit off. I don't know, kind of rude, but clearly I bought it for him anyway because I didn't know what to say. So I'm the dumbass in this situation. Typical. Mm -hmm. By the way, I know I'm not gonna finish everything that I have here. I'm kind of doing more of like a little taste test. So I know I'm gonna get comments asking me what I do with this stuff. And I do have a couple friends. I know shocking that I have friends, but I have a couple that live not too far from me. I've mentioned this before, but I always go and bring them like my food and stuff that I have afterwards after videos. So I'm gonna be giving this food to my friend after this video. I don't throw it out or waste it. I also don't wanna really keep it because If I have this stuff sitting in my pantry, I'm going to be eating it for like the next week. I've actually been really healthy the last few weeks and I've been going to the gym again, so. I don't want to be eating chips and cheese covered hot Cheetos for the next like two weeks. I wish I could, but. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite hot Cheeto kind of product is. And if you don't like hot Cheetos, Leave me a comment down below and let me know what is wrong with you in the head because Hot Cheetos are the bomb. Last one. This is my first meal of the day, guys. <laughs> Starting off the day strong. That's the only bad part about eating Hot Cheetos is you have the stains on your fingers and everyone knows the shame of the Cheeto fingers. Alrighty, so that was my main meal. That was very good. I highly recommend you try hot Cheetos with cheese if you want to have a good time and take a year off your life. So next we have, so next for my little favorite snacks. I love this thing. Have you guys seen these before? Nutella I don't buy because I will eat the entire jar. So these are really fun when I just want a smaller serving. Mmm. I have hot Cheetos on the side of my mouth. My case is actually a mirror. So it's so helpful because I always have food in my teeth and stuff. <laughs> so... This is not something that I guess people would really consider junk food, but I do, and I usually will actually just eat it dry like this. This cereal is so good. It's just like Cocoa Puffs, but with peanut butter puffs in it, too. And I love anything chocolate with peanut butter. I don't even know. Oops, I actually did not mean to do that. Mmm. <laughs> These are so good. There's literally like, it tastes like powdered sugar on the outside. I love this cereal. Oh my god. I haven't had this in like years. Next, I have my favorite potato chips. Uh, I got these at Target. really spicy actually they're so good I took a bag of this on my drive to Northern California which is like a six ish hour drive I ate this entire bag in six hours 
health. Mm. This is one of my other favorite candies. Gosh, those are really spicy. <laughs> a lot spicier than the Hot Cheetos. I love these. I've been getting these since I was a little kid, and I still get them all the time. Not all the time. My friends make fun of me because apparently my favorite flavor in this is like the flavor that no one else likes. So let's do a demonstration. So my favorite flavor in these, my, fa ah! my favorite one is this one, followed by this one. And my least favorite one is this is apparently the one that everyone likes in this the red and blue one. I don't really like this one. I usually don't even bother eating these ones. <laughs> Have you guys tried these before? Which is your favorite one? I really like this one. Mm. I'm not gonna bother with this one. <laughs> I'll be right back with my favorite ice cream you guys are looking down my non-existent chest so let me cover that up so I'm gonna show you guys my two favorite ice creams but first I want to show you guys the worst ice cream I've ever tried in my life <laughs> so you guys have probably heard of it it's called halo top ice cream it's really really big in the fitness community because it's like a healthy like protein ice cream Oh hell no. Okay, so this stuff retails for like five or six dollars a pint and I've had this in my freezer now for like two months because I just like cannot bear to actually eat it. It's uh, quite crystallized now, but I want you guys to see this. This stuff has the texture of like chalk. Like it's so dry. I don't even know how to explain it. You guys can even kind of see it even as I start picking up some of the uh, the pieces like it's like crumbly almost and it's like this even when you first buy it and like chewy almost it's not good I understand this is like big in the fitness community and I think it's just because people that do fitness stuff are so strict on their diet they don't allow themselves to eat normal ice cream but if you are like a normal person with like a normal diet I do not ever recommend this I don't know, have you guys tried this before? Do you guys like it? Cause I don't. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys now. Okay, I just spilled ice cream all over my table. Um, <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys my top two current favorite ice creams. I love ice cream. My current favorite one, this is actually the store brand ice cream. This is from, here it's called Ralph's, but I think in other parts of the US it's called Kroger's. This is like the most chocolatey good ice cream. Ah! It's so cheap. This pint of ice cream is like $2 or less. It has huge chunks of chocolate. I don't know why this ice cream tastes so good. Mmm. This dark part. It has such a good flavor. I'm smelling stuff everywhere. Do I have food on my face? This ice cream is good. Next, this is one that I kind of just discovered. It's by Hagen Dazs. Sweet cream coffee caramel. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> you see? Coffee and cream ice cream. this really dark caramel in it it actually tastes a lot like <laughs> what this coffee drink tastes like except it's an ice cream form so maybe that's why I like it so much it's not too sweet mmm okay so that's gonna be it for this video you guys I had so much fun 
buying stuff and eating stuff that I haven't had in so long. So thank you guys so much for watching because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this video and eat all my favorite stuff. And definitely let me know what your favorite junk food is because I would love to hear it. So yeah, leave that in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. It really does help a lot. So thank you so much. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. So bye.